Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share with you this special occasion fall glam makeup look. I have been using my Carly Bible palette lately and I am obsessed with it. So I wanted to share with you this look that I've been creating a ton. I hope you guys enjoy it and if you want to know how I get it, then I'll see you in one second. So I'm starting out with a fresh face. Normally I have my eyebrows done, but I'm using some new products in today's video, so I wanted to do it on camera for you guys. So today I'm going to be taking my NYX eyebrow pencil. This one's in the shade medium to dark, I believe, or like dark to medium. So I'm using this just to outline my eyebrows. I'm not going to fill them in with this. This pencil was a little bit hard to work with just because the brush was like a little bit fatter than what I'm usually used to working with. I know I need to try the other NYX brow pencil. I got this one confused thinking it was the other one, but it's not. So I'm going to be giving the other one a try because on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give this like a 6, maybe a 5 out of 10. So it's like average. And my eyebrows aren't really on point in this video, so don't mind them. So I'm taking this Milani medium brown pomade and I'm just using an elf angled brush just to fill them in. I thought this one was going to be too uh, light for me because a lot of you told me to get the um, number 04 but it actually ended up being a pretty good match. So I'm just filling them in as usual. Um, I really need to get my eyebrows like waxed or something. I don't know what's up with them. Like some days they're amazing and other days they're not. And today's one of the days when they're not. So then I went in with Maybelline Color Tattoo and I really did not like it. This is the shade like barely branded or something and blending it out with my finger I just felt like it was too sheer and too shimmery as a primer and I just did not like it at all so I was like uh, no so I went in with soft ochre paint pot by Mac to prime my lids instead so today I'm using my Carly Bible palette which I love and I'm gonna be taking that matte cream color just to set the primer that I used using this elf fluffy brush just so everything is nice and seamless. And then I'm taking these two mauve purpley shades. I'm using this blending brush that I got from Walmart and I'm just gonna apply those two colors right into my crease. The, these are gonna be my transition colors. I cannot talk today because I feel like I have not done a voiceover in forever. So yeah, I'm just blending that in all over my lid, right in my crease as always. Next, I'm taking that plum color and I'm going to mix it very little with that brown shade and I'm just going to put that on the outer part of my crease. Now doing this, you can see it looks very sloppy and I'm kind of just slapping on the color basically. But the reason I'm doing that is because then in like a few seconds you'll see I'm going to be blending everything out as I always do. I just like to kind of start out with putting the color where I want it and then I take the blending brush to really get the product in there so that it looks decent. And can you imagine if I would leave my eyeshadow like that? like? no honey make sure that you blend and I feel like if you have a good blending brush anything is possible when it comes to makeup this one's from Walmart the brand LAB and it's seriously amazing I definitely recommend it it's only six dollars I have a whole video talking about my favorite makeup brushes from the drugstore and I'll leave it linked below if you guys want a more in-depth version so then I'm taking my NYX matte finish setting spray and I'm taking this flat shader brush that I got from my naked 3 palette and I'm gonna take that like frosty pinky shade and I'm gonna mix it with that highlighter color and I'm just gonna apply that right to my lid the colors are extremely pigmented but if you watch my videos you know that I love when my eyeshadow has like that foiled metallic look on the lid I think it looks so pretty and it really makes everything pop so I love like the way that the mist made the eyeshadow look if you don't have a mist you can always use eye drops or like fix plus anything of that matter will work so I'm just applying this all over my lid. I know it looks really chunky and a little bit sloppy, but you know I'm gonna blend. Right here you can see I'm just taking the same blending brush from earlier and just blending out those harsh lines. Then I'm going back in with that plum color and I'm just gonna add that back in. This look and a lot of my makeup looks are all about adding more product as I go. I like to start with a little bit at a time and then build it up to the intensity that I'm looking for as I go because it just makes it that much easier instead of starting with a ton of product at once. So then I'm taking that cream color and I'm just gonna use that to highlight my brow bone. This is a matte shade and it's so pigmented. It's insane. I absolutely love it for the brows. So then I'm taking Wet n Wild Mega Liner, and of course, and then I'm taking my Vegas Nay Eye Lore Lashes. I actually ended up switching my lashes at the end of the video, you'll see. I just didn't really like the way they looked. I felt like they were a little bit too dramatic for me. They look kind of look like spiders from the side. I just was not feeling them, so I wish I would have switched them earlier on in the video, but I ended up doing it at the end, but 
just work with me. So I'm taking my Boots Expert Sensitive Hydrating Moisturizer. I picked this up at Target. I've been using it for just a few days now and I'm really loving it so far. It's really creamy and it moisturizes my skin nicely without leaving it like really oily. My skin this morning was just really dry and I woke up with it feeling really tight. So I'm skipping primer today and just using this moisturizer. So today I'm using the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This one's in the shade Medium. I did mix it a little bit with the shade Tan. Shout out to my girl Blissel Bree. She sent this to me and I love it. It's a really nice CC cream. It's like about, I would say like a medium coverage, but it's definitely buildable, but it's not like too heavy on the skin. It, it's really, really hydrating on my skin, especially with the moisturizer that I use. I really, really like it. So I'm just applying that, of course, all over my face and blending it out with my Beauty Blender. And then I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 Sand, and I'm just going to use this to conceal and highlight all the usual places where I normally conceal and highlight underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, my chin, all those places. And this concealer is so creamy, so blendable, you guys. Like, it's the bomb, and it's definitely one of my holy grails. Next, I'm going in with my e.l.f. HD Under Eye Setting Powder, and I'm taking this e.l.f. blush brush just to set it. Honestly, this was my first time using it, and I didn't really like it too much. I felt like the coverage wasn't really there, and I didn't really highlight as much as I would have liked it to. But anyways, next I'm taking this L'Oreal True Match Powder, and I'm just going to use this to lightly set my foundation or my CC cream. And the reason I love this powder is because it's very silky soft on the skin, and it's not too powdery, so it doesn't leave my face looking ashy. And then I'm going to be contouring with my Hoola by Benefit Bronzer. I really need to get a new one of this, but this is an amazing bronzer. It's definitely one of those high-end purchases that's definitely well worth the money. So I'm just going to use this Sigma F80 contour brush, or not F80. F40. Sorry. And I'm just going to use this to contour my cheekbones, my forehead, all the usual places. For blush, I'm using Pearlescent Pink by Wet n Wild. It's a really pretty light pink and I think it complements the eyes really well. For highlighter, I'm using this Wet n Wild Fergie highlighter in the shade Rose Champagne Glow. This gives me a very natural highlight, which is okay, but normally I go for more opaque highlighters, but this one's all right. So then I'm taking those three, don't ask me why I took all three of those colors, but I'm just going to put those right underneath my lower lashes with this e.l.f. contour brush for the eyes, and then I'm taking that highlighter shade and applying that right to the inner corner of my eye just to really make everything pop and make my eyes appear larger. And then I just went back in with that plum color from earlier and I just touched up the crease just to give it a little bit more of a dramatic effect. Then I'm taking this L'Oreal liner in the shade Illuminator and I'm just going to use that right on my waterline. It's like a super creamy baby pink shade. The faces I make when applying makeup are so unattractive. But anyways, moving on to the lips, the final thing I'm going to do is take this Touch of Spice Maybelline lipstick. And this one's so matte and so creamy. It just glides on and I love this like toasty rose color. I think pretty much any lip color will complement this eye look, which is why I love it so much. So that does complete this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down below. And also don't forget to leave more video requests down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. And I will see you very soon in just a few days in my next video. Bye. Mwah.